Thank you very, very much, George, and thanks to all of you for being here today and for participating in this and for making your voices and your presence heard, known, seen, felt. Uh, I can't tell you how important that is uh, in terms of getting the story out, which, as George indicated to you, has been my life's work. And I cannot tell you how uh, much impact you have when you raise your voices and you um, uh, participate in something like this. Yeah, how about that? Facts first. What if we put facts first? One in five Americans has a disability. That's a fact. One in four veterans returning from Iraq in our war in Afghanistan comes back with a disability. That's a fact. 65% unemployment rate among working age Americans with disabilities. That's a fact. And 14.1 million Americans with disabilities in 2008 voted. That's a fact. So your votes and your voices matter. I'm really looking forward to the conversation here today, to what I hope will be moments of debate here today, even though the candidates are not side by side with one another. Certainly the ideas matter, and the ideas are side by side. And um, I'm looking forward to listening as well, listening to all the uh, diverse people who come here today with their stories and their points of view and their issues for the candidates and for the public to confront and decide in the coming uh, weeks, months, and years. At this time, though, I would um, like to turn the podium over uh, to Terry McEntee, whom I had the pleasure of meeting this morning. She's a mother, a disability advocate. She has a son, uh, Terrell, with Down syndrome, who can't be here today because he's off with his high school vocational program, as I understand it, working in a hospital. So um, with that background and that information, I'd like to introduce uh, Terry McEntee. Terry?